Flight boss, bitch. You know. For sure. You know, listen to the mind of Aunt Terry Smooth. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is going to be the esoteric meaning, which is actually reality, about the meaning behind BC. Because it's actually, like, very simple, if you understand. You know, BC, before Christ. What does that actually mean? Now, look, you can get pseudo all you want and come up with your own thought about somebody thinking and seeing something we you think we can't see now. So you don't understand the practice. And you thinking it's some type. But always understand this, right? A man and woman had to create a word and put a meaning behind it first. Then how that derived is based on a practice. Calendars and dates. So regardless if you want to get pseudo or not and believe in something that's not actually the matter that they're pointing to. A.K.A. you still, for you to even know the time you in and for you to even know what's going on. Someone created the word and the meaning behind it. So when you throw Jesus out of it or Christ, the word, whatever like that, and before Christ, that's basically the saying before a time period, somebody came and brought a new way of thinking on a landmass. And that new way of thinking is just named Christ, right? Now you can get pseudo all you want, but always remember, a men and women create words and put meanings behind it. And if these groups of words with meanings behind it have consists of an accumulation of concepts that deal with a way of life, then that tells you that's a religion or that's a period of time when a land have just been taken over or a civilization have just been built off that intellectual property, off that moral view. Then you start to practice it with the faith and works, your body. So regardless if you want to believe in the pseudoness of it or not, it's still, you can't get around the starting point of... Words and meanings created by man and woman first. So as something before Christ, you have to understand what is Christ. Christ is a train of thought, a way of thinking. So before that land had that way of thinking, whether you want to think about it in the context of being took over as a land mass or the group of indigenous people creating a civilization there and starting to construct words based upon the cuneiform as above, so below. So you understand what they're praising. And you understand why it's on certain days or hours out of the day or months or years. And therefore, you understand the actual practice of these things so you don't get lost and having pseudo arguments, ut utilizing it for fake intellect. Talking about something you do not know what you speak because you don't know the practice and you're following the people. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Eee.